Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a day that it all comes together, guys. Premier League team of the season, Women's Super League, the first mixed league of TOTS cards are all coming to packs today. It is the team of the season Friday. The first time we'll see real team of the season cards. Everything high rated, nothing live, but the big boosted stats that we have been looking forward to, and of course, the ability to finally open packs. It is a huge day. I'm sure all of you guys, myself included, are waiting to open some of these saved packs that we have held on to for ages. It's going to be a massive day today for the market, for packs, and Premier League players in Foot Champs rewards. We have to break it down at all in today's video, and there's something coming later today that you will not want to miss. I'm going to cover that at the end of the video. If you're excited for Prem Tots Friday, hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's quickly go back to yesterday on Thursday. Before we get into all of this, we have a new season, guys, and new season reward players and even a seasonal cup or lounge as it's called really quickly let's go through this guys because it's that nike and eafc combination that we thought it was going to be there are some great players inside of the season level 10 which we're not that far away from because ea dropped so much xp yesterday our first player is live tots teze and psv won eight nil yesterday so he has already clinched one upgrade. I don't know if they won their first game or not because all these upgrades are live as of April 19th. But he's basically guaranteed to get a plus one now because he scored eight goals in one game. And they're probably going to get that extra plus one for winning two games. So GG's, that is a really insane Teze card. Four-star, four-star, high, high work rates. He can play center back as well. And that's going to be an amazing card to probably link to some Air Divisi team of the season cards that could be dropping today. That's a great card. Level 15 of the season, we have Bowen. Really solid card. Nothing super crazy here. I wish they would have given him a five-star skill or weak foot boost, but hey. That's not a live card. It's a regular team of the season. Can't complain too much there. The real hype is level 20. So many people wanted a Kobe Manu card, and here he is. Finesse, bruiser, and long ball pass. High high with four star, five star. That weak foot is crazy. And the passing stats in this card are insane. 96 long and short pass with 95 vision. And Ping pass and long ball pass plus. This is a really, really good looking card. He does have low composure and low reactions, but for a very fun team this season, I don't level 20. That is a fantastic card. Level 25, we have the 86-3 and the 87-2. Pretty, pretty solid packs along with the rest of this season. And going towards the end here, level 30, you've got an 85-7 or an 87-4. Level 35 and 83.5. And then at level 40, we have the choice between the weak foot, the skill moves, Carlos Alberto, foot birthday icon, which is a very, very solid card, or an 85 times 20, which if you think about it, in 30 days from now, 35 days, when a lot of us will probably be hitting level 40, this called Carlos Alberto will still be good. But I think some of us, myself included, will probably opt for an 85 times 20 around the time that we might have ultimate team of the season that's kind of what this pack might signify at while we're at that stage of the game during team of the season it might be a pretty good pack now as a part of the season yesterday ea did something i don't think any of us expected them to do we have a season six lounge cup for the premier league and then another objective to go alongside of that with a ton of xp involved here guys it's basically a cup mode where they're giving you these these cards joao pedro they give you the odegaard and the hoyland 89 rated and then you get some packs for doing this including a tots guaranteed pack it is a must complete cup it is pretty easy to do you have to do it with a full squad of premier league players it's unlimited games and guys i think this might be something that they drop i don't know if it's going to happen every single week if we're going to have a cup every week and they add on to this and do a Premier League one and then a Bundesliga one but last year during all of the top leagues of team of the season we had a new cup every single week so maybe they're going to keep the friendly mode there um, and just update the objectives each week um, because I do believe if you go into friendly mode here it just says it is season six lounge it doesn't say that it's only Premier League it's a 90 rated team with um, one league maximum in your starting 11 so they could keep doing this for all of the major leagues that will be coming out during team of the season. So that was pretty crazy yesterday. Overall, a solid season. Decent packs, some fun kind of interesting things here with the Nike stuff. Uh, also including some new XP in the store. Um, if you're going to go there and spend some coins on the Air Max kits, you can get some XP as a part of that. I think people are already like level 7 
or level 8. Really fast start to the season in terms of XP. Now, let's go to the SBCs really fast because we did have a player SBC yesterday. We had the Udol that was expected that last leaked live tots card, Mateu Udol. He just looks okay, to be completely honest. It also looks like his dynamic image was rendered in like... 480p or something and does not look very high quality it's just an okay card but if you're a fan of that if you need a french left back that is cheap that is a 50,000 coin card that you can go and do and there's also a brand new daily login do not forget like yeah we had a daily login last week the last week and a half for like the warm-up series this is a new one it is a different one with a whole new set of objectives and rewards it's the same spc just requires one bronze but every single day make sure you're logging in and getting that done we also had marquee matchups yesterday which was just for an okay pack and that was basically all the content yesterday guys quiet thursdays are becoming the norm but it all leads up to a big friday today on this game let's talk about it guys with Premier League team of the season coming. This is the day that so many people have been waiting for to open these packs, myself included. Guys, there are going to be an insane amount of TOTS cards in packs today. It might be one of the craziest days of TOTS in terms of just the quantity of players that we will be able to pack. We thought that the live TOTS squad with all of these players in packs right now was pretty big. This is going to put that and make it look like nothing, guys. Let's take a look at the leaks and what we're expecting from the three team of the season teams coming today first of all the premier league team of the season we have a lot of leaks and there's also a lot of names that we thought were coming that maybe aren't it's there's a lot of confusion around who's actually going to be in the premier league tots teams today as a player in packs now we've got holland foden that's a new league rodri kevin de bruyne as a moment i think our three moments cards are kevin de bruyne garnacho and in Kunku, we've got Arsenal with Rice, Saka, Saliba, Gabriel, and Ben White. We've got like three-fourths of a back line there just from Arsenal alone with Saliba, Gabriel, and Ben White. And then we've got from Liverpool, VVD, Salah, McAllister, and Allison. Really interesting inclusions there with McAllister and Allison. A lot of people probably would have argued that they were undeserved, especially Allison. But those are our Liverpool players coming today. And then for Chelsea, we've got Cole Palmer and Kunku Moments. We've got Garnacho. We have Ali Watkins and Hyun Min Son. Those are the 15 Tots cards plus three moments we expect to be in packs today. Unless there's some interchange there, maybe one of those players is an SBC and there's somebody else who's not an SBC that's going to end up being in packs. We're not entirely sure. But those are all the leaked Prem players right now. As Foot Sheriff says, some SBCs and objectives are still missing there's probably going to be some more players coming like we don't know who the SBC player is today we thought we knew potentially there's other rumored names out there for a potential SBC player today like uh Konate and Odegaard are some other names that could be released but as of right now we don't know now like I said these are all the cards that a lot of people a lot of us will be chasing today the Premier League team of the season cards but it is just one third of the tots cards that we will be seeing today of course along with this we have as the loading screen shows more players coming this is the tots plus card design which once again we think this is Di maria right who else is argentinian from benfica that would have 98 dribbling and 98 uh passing on the loading screen that's got to be Di maria right and again this shows that the tots plus card design is going to have a five chemistry boost to those players basically you put them in the team in the right position they're on five chem you add a, a nation for a manager like or a player from the same club or the same nation boom they're on full chemistry and that is insane for squad building with a couple of these players especially if you use the league links those mixed league tots players are going to be in packs today as well guys this is what we're expecting in team of the season today premier league squad women's Super League squad and the mixed Tots League squad number one. We might have, I don't even know how many Tots cards today, guys. If we have a full team of Prem, which this is 15 players plus three moments, that's 18 players, I believe, added up in packs right there. If you have a women's team that is also going to be probably a full squad, maybe 11 players plus a couple of moments, and then you have a mixed Tots squad, which hopefully is a full team as well, since they're doing four of these squads. There could be 35 plus players today in packs for this 
first Friday of team of the season. That is a ton of players in packs. Now, that is not 100% confirmed. There could be just like smaller squads for the mixed league and for the women's super league. We don't have a lot of leaks on who is in the women's tots league except for Lauren James. And we don't know who's in the mixed tots except for Di Maria. There's probably going to be a whole lot of confusion and a lot of maybe even some leaks today of just figuring out who is going to be in packs. But of course, a lot of us are going to be chasing the Premier League cards, right? Those are the biggest names. Those are the ones that we want to see. But I think also, guys, they're going to be like the hardest to pack. These guys, I think, today are going to be pretty expensive. I wonder if EA is going to juice these Prem Tots cards a little bit more and like 90% of them will have three play style pluses because they'll make the other mixed league uh, Tots cards and maybe some of the women's Super League cards like two play style pluses and more of like the, the fodder type of team of the seasons. Of course, a card like this Allison probably going to be a little bit cheaper. I think this rating is pretty interesting um, that they're doing for the prediction here. He's of course got the team of the year card. Will this one be lower rated than the team of the year and easier to pack? Probably. McAllister, I could see him as being a lower rated team of the season card as well. I think that's very interesting. Uh, I think that people are still very interested into how he got in. Declan Rice, this could be your big, insane, high rated midfield card. He's going to be expensive today. Um, you know, Salah, how high rated is he going to be versus like a Saka? Remember last year, Salah was high rated and Saka and all the Arsenal players were low rated. Does EA do the same treatment to Arsenal this year? A lot of people thought that they did because of the eFootball partnership that Arsenal has. I don't know if they still have that or not, but um, I think some of those Arsenal guys do deserve some really big cards. That's kind of what it comes down to today. And then, of course, with the moments, really interested to see for like this Kevin De Bruyne of moments. That's going to be a sick card as well. So I think a lot of these Prem Tots cards are going to be expensive, but then the Women's Super League and the Mixed League Tots cards might be a little bit cheaper. We will just have to see. Now, let's move on. Some of the other things to talk about. SBCs, right? We'll talk more about packs and market and all that sort of thing in a second. SBCs. We had Kai Havertz last Friday, and it was massive, right? It was the first three playstyle plus SBC player. Insane card. Of course, the upgrades already clinched. He's going to go to a 94. Whenever they decide to start upgrading these live Tots cards, which I don't know when it's going to be. Hopefully, it's on Fridays. That would make perfect sense and add into the hype of a regular Friday promo, in my opinion, especially as we go through team of the season. Um, but I think they're going to drop another big SBC player today. I just don't know who. Like I mentioned, Odegaard, like that has been a card that a lot of people thought would be getting a team of the season. And we had an Odegaard Centurions item earlier on this year, but they also just gave us an Odegaard inform in the objective section. I don't know if that has anything to do with him getting an SBC. I think he's deserving of a team of the season card, but would EA really drop Arsenal Tots SBCs back-to-back -back weeks, especially for players that are basically in the same position, center attack and mid. I don't know. That seems a bit odd. We'll have to see. There's other a leak. There's another leak floating around that maybe Konate could get a SBC today as well. Don't know about that. That is not 100% confirmed. But this is one thing I do want to go back and show you guys is that last year, during all the team of the season release dates, they would go with flashback SBCs. And this was actually something that was pretty common. If you look back on previous years of Friday drops on team of the season, they went for flashback SBCs of like this last year, we had a Havertz SBC, right? Havertz is everywhere right now. He was everywhere last year too. This flashback Havertz was celebrating his inclusion in FIFA 20 team of the season. Maybe they'll do something like that. Well, well they will drop a TOTS card who was like a flashback to a TOTS card as a flashback or maybe even a team of the season who knows that's something to kind of watch out for today unless we have a leak saying otherwise of who might be in um but yeah it's just insane there's going to be so many tops cards and packs like last year we had premier league and we had efl um dropped on that weekend but today it's going to be three separate squads which is just going to be crazy so regardless of whoever the sbc player is today it's probably going to be hyped because ea knows today is a massive day and it's going to be a three play style plus sbc player during team of the season with juice stats probably pretty high rated it's going to be a big card so that's one thing that will definitely move the market today now talking about objectives we have the john mcginn right i don't even know if i completed john mcginn 
Yeah, I'm not even really that close. Play nine matches, that's not happening. Uh, there's going to be a new, probably new player objective today. It might be a moments card. It might not be an actual team that's using player. But again, a objective today could be somebody from the Women's Super League, could be a Mixed League Tots card, could be anything, could be a Prem card as well. We'll have to just see. But I, I bet there'll be a player SBC and an objective today. And then, of course, we think about evolutions. And there is, I would assume, a 100% chance of a new evolution being dropped today. The Unleashing Potential Evo expires today, and I have to actually get a couple of games done myself so that I can put this Jesus Ferreira into that evolution, upgrade him even more, and then put him into, yet again, another evolution, the Moment of Truth. He's going to look absolutely insane. But this is the first, the Moment of Truth Evo that went crazy earlier this last week was the first Tots Evo that we had. If we have another evolution today, it's probably going to be a Tots Evo, and maybe it's just going to go as crazy as this. Maybe it's not. Maybe it'll be free, so a little bit less hype. But it could be a big-time Evo today. The Tots Evo started with a bang. We'll see what they come out today with on a Premier League Tots Friday. So that's just kind of something to kind of watch out for. I don't believe there's any leaks right now at this moment of who is going to be a part of that Evo or what kind of Evos we even have leaked. But I did want to mention that because Evos are a big part of content on Friday. Now... A couple of other things related to this game today. Guys, the store packs are going to be crazy. There's been multiple store packs already added to the code. We even looked at them in yesterday's video. It's going to be a day where a lot of packs are open. Like, I don't think many people are going to have saved packs after today. The only people that are going to be saving packs are going to be those who are looking for Bundesliga or La Liga or League One as like their favorite league to full send their packs on. But most people, I think, are going to be ripping, especially as they see how many Tots cards could be in packs today. And you're going to see a whole new refresh of store packs. EA is going to go crazy with the lightning round once again. There's going to be a good amount of supply and a bunch of coins are going to enter the market. Like some of these Premier League Tots guaranteed packs, I, I doubt that all of them will come today, but maybe the Premier League Tots guaranteed, maybe the double guaranteed, who knows. But some of these will be added into the game today for sure, and there'll be draining coins that people just make from basically opening their saved tradable packs for sure. But there's just going to be a lot of packs open today in general, which is going to make the market move in a bunch of different ways. I think with the way that things are going to shape up today, it actually might be kind of comparable to how last Friday looked on this game. Remember what happened last Friday, guys, with live team of the season dropping, right? Prices were low, very, very low. Remember, I bought Ruben Diaz for 1.4 mil and sold him a couple hours later after Weekend League started for 1.7. I think prices are going to dip again after the content drop. With so many team of the season cards coming out today, it worries me a bit. It does. It honestly worries me some for parts of the market, especially some uh, maybe those older promo cards, um, maybe some foot birthdays even that are middle to lower tier price because I, I just feel like today, maybe even some of the Golasso cards as well, I feel like a bunch of Tots cards being released today with most of them having three play style pluses could kind of alter the power curve a bit. And everybody wants to try the brand new, the fresh types of cards, right? If most of those cards are affordable, if they're halfway meta and they're cheap from being supplied, you could see some players like, I don't know, maybe a Colaire, maybe this Berbatov a little bit. Berbatov could be impacted today by Ali Watkins. I think he might be a pretty cheap striker card. And then if he's cheap, this Berbatov will probably drop a little bit if that Ali Watkins is good because people want to use a new Premier League striker instead of using him. But maybe even like this Okocha or this Campbell or this Van Persie, I could just see some of the more recent promo cards taking a bit of a drop in price with all of the new insane ones dropped and tots if they are cheap that's one thing i'm worrisome for on the market but also at the same time there's going to be a lot of coins injected so i feel very strongly that if you find the right cards in the right places of the game and you time it right again remember last week we made so many coins we posted a tiktok about it yesterday kind of summarizing all of the flips that we posted and did last week on stream we went market heavy last week and we made crazy amounts of coins on the new TOTS cards. Guys, the new Premier League TOTS cards that dropped today, there's going to be so much hype and so many people wanting to buy these. Their prices are going to fluctuate like crazy, and they're going to be great to trade with. You're just going to have to time it right. But if you want to go for a little bit of a safer route, at the same time, like we're mentioning, there's so many packs open, people are going to go out to the market and buy certain specific cards to go put into their teams, especially around the start of the weekend league again i'm gonna say it just like we did last week focus on the rare focus on the meta like this this messy right here why is messy 
why is Messi 3.7 million coins? Like, that is a 200k undercut from what he normally is. And this is, in my opinion, the best version of Messi in the game. I know we're getting a Di Maria today. And this Messi is not three play style pluses, but it's Messi. You know, this is the type of player that I would expect. Wow, that's actually sitting there. That is... This one at 355 is very tempting. Maybe we'll try to hop on that bid since it's a late night, but that is a very low price for Messi. Not really wanting to send 3.7 million coins into a card to try to make a flip out of it, but that's the type of card that could end up being 4.2 mil tonight because people go out, open all these packs, they get coins, and they go build squads for the weekend league. And with that being said, I think that some of these TOTS live cards are very intriguing as investments as well, but I think some of them would drop today after content in that first hour times or so after we see what SBC is released, what evolution is released. If we were to get like a Konate SBC today, I would not want to buy Romero before content because he would probably drop if the Konate SBC is good. Same thing as if we were to get maybe like a left wing SBC, maybe St. Maximin, who's down bad because Al Ali lost yesterday or drew. Um, they did not win. That's the matter of fact. His price is down a bunch. If we get a left mid SBC, you wouldn't want to own him right because his price would probably drop same thing for like a left back for anthony robinson if we were to get some sort of left back sbc today his card is up this was the best investment so far out of this live tots team wednesday he was 82 to 85k and he has gone especially yesterday for after rivals rewards from 88k to over 100,000. as there are no leaks in the prem team this season for a left back that's got his price going up like crazy as people are investing for that. I think these cards could be good investments today. Just kind of depends on what SBC is dropped and uh, what other content is dropped and the prices of these Premier League Tots players because I think they're going to be expensive, but we'll just have to see. And remember, those are live cards. I have to keep reminding myself as well that these are live items who have the potential to upgrade. And I think even some of them have games today. So that's something to really, really watch out for as well. There'll be a great place to trade today as there's still a lot of hype for them. People might just kind of go back to these cards too because the new cards could be super duper expensive on some of the Premier League items. Um, and these cards could go up a bit as well since they are out of packs. That is one thing to definitely keep an eye on because once weekend league starts, guys, again, just to reiterate, we're probably gonna see prices going up as weekend league starts. That kind of like sweet spot last week was an hour after content. An hour afterwards, people kind of saw what was out. They were kind of surveying the market landscape and they were like, okay, I've opened my packs. I've done the SBC I want to do. Maybe I'm working on the Havertz SBC, did an upgrade pack or two, opened the packs I want to open. Now it's time to get ready for Weekend League. And once that Weekend League starts, the market just exploded. And I think the same thing is going to happen today. Now, to not belabor the point anymore, let's talk about fodder because fodder last week went crazy in two areas, team of the week's and high rated fodder because everybody went and did SBCs after they opened all of their saved up packs. And guess what? That's going to happen today too. But the same thing is going to happen this week. I think that happened last week is that fodder itself is just going to get supplied into the ground. There's going to be so many packs opened, lightning rounds, tradable 84 tens, 85 sevens, basically your 85 and above fodder is going to drop even further 88s are 8,000 coins which is atrocious they used to be 18k now they're 8,000 coins right 87s are 5k any sbc that drops today is going to look cheap because of how cheap this fodder is like when you're doing an 80 plus player pick and you pack an 86 rated card as a walkout that's 4,000 coins of value like just let that sink in i get excited about packing a walkout from an 80 plus pick that's 4k that's insane. Like an 86 is worth more than 4K. I don't care what the market says the value is. It's worth more than 4K to me, right? Especially in an SVC. Anyways, fodder, I think tonight on bids is going to be an insane investment to stock into your club because this is the exact same time last year where so many people opened packs, but then still people start doing SBCs like the Dino. Maybe they're still working on a Mia Ham. Maybe they're working on a Havertz. Whatever SBC comes out today, icon upgrade packs, which should uh, come out on Sunday. We're going to get an icon pick instead of a hero. There's going to be more demand for that. I think fodder on the middle of the low tier, I'm talking 85s up to 89s will be a really, really good investment to stock some in your club. I think 91s 
are too expensive to touch right now. If they come back down sub 40K, I know Kevin De Bruyne's going to be out of packs today. Holland's going to be out of packs. So it just looks like that some of these cards could rise up further. Um, you know, I'd be careful with these. It just kind of depends on what SBC we get. There's probably going to be 91 rated TOTS cards that will come into the game today and drag the prices down of these 91s from the Women's Super League, maybe from the... Um, this mixed the league of team of the season, maybe even a Prem Tots card could be 91 rated and be cheap, especially if it's a Tots moments from any of those leagues. So this is also the time where these Tots cards will probably start to kind of bring in the fodder level that will decrease the prices of 91s, 92s, 93s, and 94. So if you want to take the safe route, I would sell any prints you have, any 93 rated like Viali, Stanway, or Kane, because honestly, these cards are just up as much as they are because they are the cheapest for their rating and i think there's going to be more cards that will end up being cheaper than 86k for 93 rateds today on this game so that's one thing to watch out for i think i would club stock my middle tier of fodder and maybe the high tier you sell it just to be safe now for informs that's the other thing i want to look at informs too i'm not as gung-ho about kind of for the same reason we just mentioned is the 91s i know these dropped off a lot how much are informs are they still right around the high 30s or high 20s 28k for informs if we have TOTS cards on the market um, around 30,000 coins within the first 15 minutes of content today, then that means that TOTS cards are going to end up being as cheap or cheaper than Informs, even if they're 90 rated, guys, because 90 rated are 26, 27K. So if there's TOTS cards that are the same price, Informs are going to drop because probably what EA is going to start transitioning into doing is requiring Team of the Season cards or Team of the Week's in SBCs. I can see that being a requirement even as early as today in SBCs because EA is also giving out these TOTS guaranteed packs. Like how many of you guys are opening a TOTS guaranteed pack that you got from the daily play objective last week? Like myself, you're waiting to open that pack until today. I think that's something you're going to see. EA is going to start, you know, seeing that people are going to get more TOTS cards into their clubs. They're going to start requiring those in SBCs, not just informs so i would be careful with informs they still could be in demand but i would be careful with them and the 91 and above fodder but it's all fun and games today guys it's pack opening day right it is this is the day i've been looking forward to for a while it's going to be such an exciting day to try to pack blues hopefully this counter can go up we finally got it to double digits but there has been so much fodder tots for me packed this last week i'm excited to rip some packs I'm excited to get some SBCs done as well, and that's why I think fodder could end up being a price rise, having a price rise over the weekend, because people are going to do the exact same thing. They're going to open packs today. They're going to run out of that fodder. They're going to have to go buy more as they do SBCs throughout the weekend. So we'll cover it, of course, as close as we can all weekend long, but make sure you hop into the Twitch stream today, guys. This is what I mentioned at the end of the video. I said in the intro, you do not want to miss a really awesome opportunity today that will be happening in the Twitch stream. I wanted to tell you guys, since you're the OGs, you're the ones that are supporting by watching the videos every single day, I can't tell you what it is, but it's a first ever for TFA and for us. So I'm really excited for that. I will see you in the Twitch stream. That link is down below in the description. Make sure you're followed up so that we can have a blast today on Team in the Season Friday. Good luck with all of your packs. We'll be talking about it on stream, buying players, watching the market, and of course, seeing what EA has for us on Premier League Tots. Friday. So if you're excited for today, again, drop a thumbs up on the video, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nathan for the Count, and catch you guys there. Peace.